Hi, my name is Raghu Selvakumar, and I am a Hindu. I ended up studying uh, Hinduism and Eastern Studies at Boston University, but I also grew up raised Hindu um, and attended as a young kid a uh, temple in Flushing, New York. And I would say my religious identity is an interesting mix because it's a mix of the traditional um, sayings and scriptures that I would read and I would copy from my parents as a little kid, but it's also a mix as I was a first generation American. So I would, I grew up in American high schools, American uh, middle school, elementary, so that affected my identity by creating kind of a mix of culture and faith and exposure to faiths. Uh, as I know, so as I mentioned, I was first generation, but um, I think that's important because as a new generation of uh, American Indian, of American and Indian, uh, I feel like me and especially a lot of my Indian friends, we get to decide which gets passed on. And I find myself uh, a very spiritual, taking aspects of the spiritual side of Hinduism and the ritual side of Hinduism, especially visiting temples um, uh, in New Jersey and New York City and visiting even Indian temples abroad. So an experience I had uh, about dealing with the religious other involves an experience that I had recently um, of a person who like I get from a lot of even religious uh, people and people who are um, the so group, so called nuns or nons, um, that I don't know anything about Hinduism. So that was a specific response that I got. And I found it interesting because I told them, well, do you know anything about yoga? Or do you know anything about uh, the holy festival? Um, and they actually they kind of joked off that they did. So um, I find it interesting that Hinduism itself has offered very beneficial things to American culture. And so the girl that I was talking to was surprised by herself when I told her how much she already knew about Hinduism through yoga and through um, the holy festival. Having a moral voice in nowadays, in today's age, as um, violence and war. I think that religious communities and people of religion can do more than um, more than just diplomacy and have a moral stance, um, condemning violence in the communities and violence in their households. And it starts with relationships and communicating with other people. Um, I think people, faith communities, and people of faith can also they can they re, they have to realize that they can affect and emphasize diplomacy nowadays. Um, in today's age, when um, news stories can single news stories can affect uh, the public and become very changing events in in the media. That would be a uh, personal thing of mine to end gun violence and end the use of heavy weapons. I think that we can do more than just diplomacy and actually um, create a moral, a moral campaign to against using the idea of using these uh, weapons and chemical weapons that have been news stories in, in today's media because they have been uh, terrible, they're, they're in a sense evil in some way. So um, there's a famous story in the Mahabharata of how an epic war that takes place and towards the end, uh, it's, it's proved meaningless. It's, it's rendered um, very, it shows the perils of war. And I think that we need to, we need to emphasize how meaningless and unnecessary war can be in violence.